Hello everyone, welcome to Roman Palace Arena. In this video I'll be showing you a quick flight through of the level that's going to be featured in the game called The Island. Now this level is going to be available through a virtual office where you'll get a chance to battle other characters and um, test out some of the weapons, some of the shields, other long distance weapons like bows and crossbows. Also character movements and enemies and the character animations. But let's go ahead and do a quick flight through. There is quite a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. Uh, we have some shadows and lighting that still needs to be fixed for this level. You can see that uh, there is a lot of dark spots on a lot of uh, statues and very strange uh, lighting effect when you move the camera. So that's going to have to be all uh, fixed. Uh, there is quite a lot of stuff that still needs to be adjusted from character moving through the level itself and other meshes that will have to be taken down and I'll be going through one by one exactly uh, what needs to be fixed here. So if you get close to this rug, uh, it creates a really strange pattern so we'll have to fix all of this stuff here. And again you'll see this lighting changing quite often and uh, it gets somewhat really annoying but uh, to do the demonstration I'll just uh, do a fly through. So we have uh, different sections of this uh, palace where you have different statues, different uh, parks areas for socializing and things like that. And then as you go through these hallways you get a chance to come to these stairs here that will take you to another level, to another garden with uh, more statues and open sky. So you will have a daytime scene that you'll be able to explore through this section. And again, there might be uh, some sort of storyline available in the future, but uh, in the arena, you will be playing mostly in the actual arena itself. Uh, and maybe there will be some storyline added here for the characters. Now we have some unrealistic water that still needs to be fixed and changed. Uh, some of the buckets may missing textures. So there's other things that still needs to be fixed. Uh, some of the lighting is not that bad, like the actual candles and things like that, but it's looks like it's a static light. It's not actually movable or anything like that. But again, there's quite a lot of corridors and hallways with a lot of different, uh, or actually similar, if not the same statues in different sizes. So maybe we'll take some of those out. And for some reason, some of this has not loaded the textures for this table. Uh, but looks like this was used for potions. I'm not 100% sure exactly what this section is supposed to be. Uh, collecting, I guess, fruits from the stable, uh, the actual tree itself. And as I continue to fly through the section, we have a fireplace over here and, and the anvil. So maybe there will be some weapons on display here that you'll get a ch chance to choose from before you enter the arena. And if we go back up here, now again, there's quite a lot of uh, hallways to go through, so maybe that section will be a little bit closer to the arenas. And then maybe it's going to be part of the storyline with the blacksmith and things like that, uh, involving all the other characters. Now, above here, there's nothing here, so you can see that it's just uh, a view from below here. And again, continue on, we have more structures going through more hallways with more structures available through this level and you can go through the top floor around this palace section but uh, there's a dead end here and then you have three levels the second one is not a playable section but first one and third one is now again I'll have to rotate some of these items and again you can see that there is a lot of really dark shadows that will need to be fixed and changed. Now we're going to continue flying through the hallway and more sections <laughs> of the hallway and the park. It almost gets um, like a maze but it's a straightforward shot and here's our arena uh, with ponds on each side and again if I were to continue going forward I'll just go fly over this area. You'll come down, straight down, and back up to the arenas. 
and here where you'll have your fights there's going to be um, the AI sitting on the benches cheering and applauding all the victors of the battles and of course there will be uh, determining if the gladiator is going to, going to live or die uh, I'm gonna take some of these statues down and convert it to more of a, a sitting section for for the Emperor where he will be able to uh, watch the fights and again uh, there's gonna be more of a let me change this camera speed real quick uh, set up in a way where you'll have different waves happening through your gameplay so once you enter the arena the gates will close down and then you'll have three areas where the enemies can spawn and come out and now of course they're going to be of different cultures so that way you get a chance to um, meet all of the characters that will be available in the game later down the road but uh, it will help the development of the game itself and like i said the character movement uh, the behavior between the ai and the player and also make this just a little bit more fun so that way you get a more chance to actually fight other characters um, much more frequently than you would in a single player storyline so here you can um, you know fight all these different AI there was going to be some maybe of the archers standing on top of these pillars maybe there's going to be chariots in the future as well uh, that's of course way way far in the future but uh, the basic idea is to set up a small arena where you get a chance to experience uh, much advanced uh, fighting rather than trying to survive on the island so if you're looking for more of a fighting modes there's going to be different fighting modes available here and then creating different gameplay modes and things like that in the future hopefully possibility of co-op and uh, maybe even a multiplayer who knows but as of right now it's going to be mostly focused on a single player and ai spawn and creating more of a like a wave um, spawn uh, gameplay where you'll have different waves coming in at you until you pretty much fall or there will be uh, different waves that you have to complete and then you would leave the arena and then re-enter it back again and maybe there's going to be some cutscenes added in the future as well to somewhat create the storyline and once this is done uh, eventually you want to add this to your actual the island of the gameplay itself so this whole roman section will be added to the island separately where you'll get a chance to play that in a single player but here is the outside view of this level you have this uh, a whole walkthrough that i just showed you and again there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be fixed here's a quick demonstration on what it would look like if i actually had a character in that level now the lighting I would have to adjust as well it's a little bit uh, dark uh, the other thing what I can do is adjust the directional lighting here so that way it's not too dark let's go ahead and bring that in so that way the Sun is right above the arena just like that so it's really really nice and bright and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop in one of the characters to show you uh, some of the issues that are still have to fix while playing this level so I have Paragon Plume Blast character here I'm gonna go ahead and drop that here in the game I'm gonna go ahead and find the character itself now of course this guy is not gonna be in the game this is just more for uh, demonstration purposes uh, one of the first things so that you will notice is that if you start to play the game with this character and you know the one thing I forgot to do let me go back select the character so in order for it to be enabled you have to go to pawn and then add up as this player you have to change from disabled to player l1 so that way you can actually play as that character now instead of uh, fly through camera but now you'll get a chance to see that in a third person since you have camera behind him uh, you've noticed that his feet are below the surface and that is because this uh, box has not been properly set up for the collisions so that will have to get changed that might even change the whole thing I'll actually put a landscape here instead of this uh, static box um, but once you get past that there's uh, not of the stairs 
are properly set up for the collisions, you can see that uh, they are more of like a box rather than actually being able to go up. So this has got fixed because I actually fixed this. Uh, and in order to do that, you can go ahead and select this static mesh. And then if we go to the static mesh itself, if we open this up, and under the collisions, you'll see that for it probably set to a simple collision. So this is what you would have. Uh, the reason it's not moving and what you want to do is you want to get a more of a complex so if we scroll all the way down uh, you will have to change this to use complex collision and then once you say save scroll back and press play now it should be able to go up and down the stairs and of course I still have to fix this arena area let's go ahead and see if we can move down the steps but yeah i'm going to be adding some gates over here and here now you can actually uh, move down the stairs so there's still quite a lot of tweaking that needs to be done especially this rug i'm not 100 percent sure why it's uh, creating such an, a strange effect but these stairs i couldn't walk earlier so i had to get a chance to fix that behind the camera and then um, yeah, I just have to be able to go through pretty much all the models and change everything. I'm going to be changing some water effects, materials. I want to put some uh, koi fish pond and things like that. But all these columns looks like there's collision set properly, so there's no issues there. Uh, but other than that, there's other parts that I'll have to fix. Uh, this water material, for example, I'll have to uh, make it more of a deeper pond rather than or an actual fountain so that way you can walk on it if you get a chance to actually walk around this area but you know, there's still quite a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed for, in order for it to properly work and the weapons and all the other stuff uh, will be probably mentioned in the future videos since there's quite a lot to go through i've uh, organized quite a lot of folders in different colors for particular purpose and let's see if we can find a few since I don't have any all the folders within the folders uh, these are main projects that have been imported separately uh, I've organized them by colors you know like the green ones for all the vegetation all the other materials uh, the static meshes that you can place in the world are more of a brown anything that's water related is blue and then sky related you know other color similar colors and stuff like that purple is all the characters so there's a lot of stuff that i'm doing more of a, a visual by visual folders uh, but if we start looking at uh, some of the weapons i don't think i've imported them yet so yeah it looks like i don't have any um, projects related to the weapons yet but i will be displaying them uh, later down when the game uh, continues to get developed so maybe I'll have a sort of display here and that anvil and all the good stuff probably gonna get pushed forward closer in this direction instead so that way you don't have to go too far uh, to step into the arenas to you fight other AI but yeah and the other thing is there is a lot of items that are static mesh so they're not um, optimized for the gameplay so there's a lot of stuff that you will need to be get compi uh, combined together uh, to create a uh, better performance for the gameplay. One thing is worth mentioning is that this project does contain uh, multiple levels. So you can set it up in a way where you can stream only uh, certain levels as you move through this palace. You can see that uh, as I disable this, you'll see which part of the level belongs where. And the way it's set up is that so that way you can render probably the front of the building, but not the interior of it, which is really well um, calculated. Um, but again, um, what I want to do is go back in some of these sections and then maybe combine some of these items as one. So that way it's not one static mesh, but I mean, instead of having multiple static meshes, you can combine this into one uh, roof. And then that would apply for pretty much all the other items that are in this game, just like all these columns, uh, all these static meshes. Once they're all set up, instead of having 15, almost 16,000 actors, I can minimize this. But that's going to take some time to do that. And again, uh, this floor is going to get probably 
place with the more of a, like a landscape material so that I can custom paint it and create something of my own <coughs> and uh, maybe even change them depending on the seasons so maybe there will be like winter or maybe sand or regular dirt and mud so those can be f switched depending on the level of the arena that you're playing in another thing I want to mention is that I also have uh, the Roman Empire kit from kit bash 3d and I'll be able to use some of these models if I really need to for distance building so if I were to make a cinematic uh, transitions uh, between the gameplay add more variation to that landscape itself so quite a lot of different buildings different columns that can be replaced uh, from original ones so I can replace some of those stuff if I really wanted to and add more buildings to it if I want to expand but th those can be used also in the game itself I also have another uh, project from marketplace called Rome fantasy pack and I think it's currently in the level but I will be making a separate video for this since uh, there's quite a lot to go over in this project alone but they will be combined together and what I like about this project it has a lot of cool things that I can integrate with my other project to make it a little bit uh, nicer and prettier and uh, just add more variation to the Roman style of my arena that I will be creating for this uh, gameplay and again there's a lot of cool paintable decals and other things that you can work with and I'll go more into details with this in the future as well that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for all the support. Welcome all new subscribers. Uh, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button to be notified every time I upload a video regarding Unreal Engine Marketplace and my game development. Until next